Hello and a very warm welcome to ADIPEC's Energy Dialogue Interviews with me, your host, Rebecca McLaughlin Easton. In this series, we'll bring you exclusive conversations with some of the biggest names in the global energy sector. All this ahead of ADIPEC 2022, which will be held in Abu Dhabi from the 31st of October until November the 3rd. My special guest this week is Sabod Saxena. He is the Senior Vice President for Neighbours Drilling Solutions. Subod, it's fantastic to see you. Thank you for joining me from Houston today. It's a pleasure to be here, Rebecca, and I really look forward to our conversation. Subod, let's start with the big picture. Where is the oil and gas sector positioned along the journey towards digitalization and truly adopting new technology? It's a great question, Rebecca. Before I talk about where we are today, I think it'll be good to understand where we are coming from. The oil and gas industry has always been a big user of the engineering disciplines like mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, structural engineering, and subsurface engineering. Because imagine drilling wells in deep water or wells that are 20,000 feet long, that requires a significant amount of engineering. And during this process of well construction, we also generate significant amount of data. So the volume of data does exist. The challenge was that we were never able to use this data to take better decisions. And Largely, it was due to the fact that we were not able to move the data in real time from where we were because of the remoteness of the locations, but also because of some of the cultural barriers that we had in the industry. But today, in the advancement of technology, we have been able to really enforce cloud computing and edge computing to really unlock the value of data. Talk to me about what is new and improved in the technology space, specifically relating to rigs, and in particular, how this new technology is improving safety. So the way Neighbors develops technologies, it has to answer customer needs, and at the same time, it also incorporates the trends and the challenges that the industry is facing. So today, our solutions can be bucketed into three main categories which primarily drive the answer solutions to the customer needs. The first one being, how can we improve safety on the rig? The second one being, how can we improve drilling efficiency? And third one being, how can we reduce the carbon footprint of our rigs? And at the same time, we are addressing the needs of the industry, which is creating solutions that have low capital intensity, and at the same time, they are scalable. So since you spoke about HSE, I would like to give two examples of what Neighbors has created, one being a commercial product and the other one being that is in field testing. So we were the company that created the first land fully automated rig. And by doing so, we were able to not have any person operating while on the rig floor. And that really improved the safety while not compromising the efficiency and the performance of the rig. At the same time, a lower capital intensity solution also is under field trial where we are using vision-based systems which incorporate artificial intelligence to see how we can manage the movement of the people into the red zone. So with these two solutions, we are really driving and leading the safety at the rigs while ensuring that the performance is always continuously improving as well. We've touched upon value creation, of course, but in terms of how digitalization can really drive this forward, what are your thoughts? So digitalization can really unlock value by consistent execution and through continuous improvement. So let's take an example. So Smart Plan is a tool that Neighbors created, which is a digital planning tool that enables that continuous improvement concept. It takes the best practices of the customers, of the service companies, puts them into a digital drilling roadmap, which is put in front of the driller and the rig to create that execution framework. And then as Smart Plan integrates the process automation, that gives the consistent execution. And this is very well supported by a team of experts who are sitting remotely in a remote operation center, which can be located in the customer's facility or in the neighbor's facility to really drive this collaboration and the digital workflows to really unlock the value of the data that we are collecting. 
My last question to you, Sabode, has to be about Adipec. We're very excitedly counting down the days and Neighbours this year are a Digitalisation Zone sponsor. What are you bringing to the table and what do you hope to take away? So we are equally excited to be part of this event and I would like to thank the organisers of Adipec for inviting Neighbours. And of course, we are very proud to sponsor the Digitalisation Zone. For me, you know, Middle East has been a, a big part of our business and we hope to continue to add value to our customers. And at the same time, I think our biggest takeaway is going to be driving that message of digitalization, automation and collaboration. And that is a very important element because if we really have to solve all the problems, the pressing problems of the industry and our customers, that can be only done through active collaboration of all the players that go into creating a well, in, into constructing a well. And there we must leave our conversation, Sabode. But thank you so much for joining me today. Safe travels from Texas to Abu Dhabi, and we'll see you on the ground in October. Thank you very much, Rebecca. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Well, that wraps up this edition of Adipex Energy Dialogue Interviews. Thank you for watching and do be sure to follow Adipex online and on social media for updates about Adipex 2022, which will be held in Abu Dhabi this October. I'll see you again next time with another interview. Until then, take care. Goodbye.